hockey season is right around the corner, and Jason Kelly is getting ready to enter his third year with the Ryerson Rams. Jason grew up like every average Canadian boy, loving sports and playing hockey. That is, until he turned 14 years old. What I remember so distinctly was being on the golf course. I couldn't stop drinking water. It's like I had the pastiest mouth ever, and then every hole I also had to pee. So it was constantly like drinking, peeing, drinking, peeing. And I was like, okay, there's like, there's something seriously wrong with my bladder. Jason went to the doctor's office where he was told that he had type 1 diabetes, a disease that affects 300,000 Canadians. I just immediately like broke down into tears. I remember running out of the doctor's office, like not even wanting to talk to him. And uh, I remember the doctor coming and grabbing me while I was in the stairwell trying to leave the office and he, he assured me that you know, I'm going to live a normal life. Jerry and Donna Kelly are Jason's parents. Donna was with her son when the doctor broke the news. If I think any child getting any kind of news that to them sounds uh, that it's the end of their world, and I think that's how Jason processed it in the few seconds that when the doctor said these words to him. One of his biggest worries was losing the thing he loves the most, playing hockey. I want to be just focusing on hockey, but I can't because like, I need to make sure that my blood glucose levels are good so that I can actually play hockey. Graham Wise is the head coach of the Ryerson Rams men's hockey team. He recruited Jason back in 2011. I think today in our medical world, this does a fabulous job. With people like this, I mean, I go back to the days when Bobby Clark was the captain of the Philadelphia Flyers and he was a diabetic as well and was able to uh, live a normal life. Not only would Jason live a normal life, but he would go on to organize a charity golf tournament for diabetes research. My family friend Mark, he was the one who first suggested the golf tournament. You know, it really took us like a little bit to think about it because it's a serious commitment. We wanted to do something. We, we just said we have to help in some way, shape or form. At the first golf tournament in 2007, Jason was surprised that they were able to raise $50,000. Since then, this annual event has continued growing. This golf tournament was huge because uh, in the seven years of doing the Jason Kelly Classic, we have actually raised over a million dollars. It's amazing. Yeah. And, and we're thrilled now that in the last three years, the money's staying right here in Southern Ontario. All that money is going to exactly what I want it to go to. All that I want to see is that this is actually going to help someone. And if it's not in my lifetime, then it's going to help someone directly right after because it's not going to be a long time before the cure is found.